This contest set for one fall is a March Madness rankings match. Introducing first of all, representing, representing the Dirty South first, the tag team representative from Welcome North Carolina, this is Luke Lawrence. And his partner. From the open roads of the state of Georgia, USA. Towering in at six feet, 11 inches tall and weighing in at 310 pounds. Sky Scraper. The representative in the super heavyweight division. The corn-fed Colossus in the building. Their opponents, first, well, actually, from Reading, Pennsylvania, and Atlanta, Georgia, Eli the Tank Ferreira, the Butcher Dick Beavers. They are the pride. Here we go. Big, that was a stiff forearm and a half. Lawrence and Beavers, they are the single, they are the representatives on the tag team side of things. Eli Ferreira has to fight his way in. Skyscraper already represented in the super heavyweight division. I think I forgot to chimmel before. Uh, there you go. Off the ropes. And, oh my goodness. Uh, shades of uh, fellow Georgian. Big boss man with that one. Tilt to world sidewalk slam. Bell boss man slam, however you want to call it. Here's Lawrence. Nice reversal by Beavers. And Beavers gonna hit a spear. Beavers hits a spear early. The cover, the count, no, wow. That was real close. Almost too close for comfort, if you will. Now, Lawrence with strength. Nice slam. And now he'll bring in the corn fed Colossus skyscraper. This is all, all of this is for Luke Lawrence and Dick Beavers' positioning in the tournament for the, for the tag team side of things. 
But I'd imagine that it would also help Skyscraper's uh, stock as well. Look at this. Skyscraper going down. Dropped the double axe handle from the second rope and was able to get there before Ferreira knocked him off. Drops that elbow. You know, it, it's weird because it looks like Skyscraper would belong on the Pride. And I know that him and Dick Beavers are both from Georgia. I just find that very interesting. That's all. What is this? Avalanche sidewalk slam. How about that from Skyscraper? Uses the, uses the second rope. Does a little bit of... Uh, does modify his maneuvers. So we know, oh man, backbreaker. We know we know the tag team, we know the uh, representatives now of four of the seven teams that are gonna actually be, or excuse me, three of the seven teams in this one. Michael Tarpin winning for the BPA. We have Luke Lawrence by default. And Sam Cage, who beat James Smith. That was last week. Big right hand there by Skyscraper. Here's the cover right in the corner. No. Dick Beavers was not really all that concerned, but it might be. Is it time to call Adele? No? Not time for the Grammys? No, it's time for it's time for the lactating one here. Double L, here he comes. There's the jaw jacker. There is a throw by Lawrence. And a cover. Good kick. Watch out here. It might be time. Look at that. I thought he picked, was going to pick him up for a Carolina driver, but then he just dropped him with a sit-up powerbomb for the win. No. Great maneuver by Lawrence. And this might be it right here. He's just kind of waiting. He's sizing him up. Backs him up here. It spins him around again. Now he's going to go to the corner. And it looks like Skyscraper might... Is this a Rana bomb? Rana bomb time. Oh, my goodness. For the cover. And it broke up and broken up before a count was even made. Lawrence going to just throw Beavers out of the ring. and Ferreira able to regain. Oh, right hand by Skyscraper. Or left hand by Skyscraper in order to continue. Uh-oh, kind of call Adele. She picking it up. Hello. Skyfall. Oh, my goodness. The cover and a breakup at one. And, again, it'll be Lawrence throwing Beavers out of the ring. Dark match, which is what this technically would be anyway. Now, Ferrero returns the favor. Ferrero, is he thinking Snake Eyes here? Yep. There's the Samoan drop. I like that one he did the catapult Samoan drop. There's an elbow. Oh my god, that right hand. Huge right hand from the tank. Not, not what you would call not what you call a tank, the tank cannon, but. Close enough. Beavers. Just throws him over his back. He's got him in the right corner. Let's just go with that. Uh-oh. This could be that combination. Shoulder charge and spear. There it is. Ferreira hits the spear. Ferreira hits the spear. Broke it up, but oh. Oh, no. 
Be Beavers inadvertently threw Lawrence on top of the pin. Oh, no. That's not what he wanted to do. So the match continues. Now Ferreira. Is he looking for a drive-by here? Here it comes. Let's see what happens here. Lawrence is down, or no, no, he's not. Let's see here. Cover. Did he do it? Oh, he kicked out by himself. Kicked out by himself there. Headbutt by Ferreira. I go for a cover here. There's nobody in the way. Meanwhile, Beavers taking out Lawrence on the outside. Ferreira in control. Going to go for more snake eyes again. He hits it, and that cut open the current fed Colossus, who is not happy. Fireman's carry takeover. Big uppercut. Bounce him off the ropes to kidney shots. I'm sure I'm surprised Lawrence didn't go for a pin. Here we go. Did he get him? He got him. Ferreira pin skyscraper. Lawrence didn't seem like he gave too much of a care about that for whatever reason. But Ferrero wins it for his partner, and that's a big one because that'll bump down the Dirty South and will push Beavers up to the number two spot. And more importantly, the pride in the future.